time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! You're doing fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Jake, thanks, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know! I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! Oh, I... Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come in time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Oh. Mm. I found something. Hey, Glenn. Uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. 
I think I need to go. Who would live? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. It's not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, I'm not going to be important. And I'm going to be so I'll put them right in this place. And then you have to go and eat. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Hey, Kim. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. Do you think that's gonna happen? Her parents showed up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? Everything we own would be lost if what we is left it? you alone for five minutes. How did you choose? We both needed you. Like you picked me. I remember when I packed them up. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. I didn't have to pay attention to what you were saying. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell... And my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other Did one. Check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. Ken, I'm just, just sad. I know it Everything doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. It's Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. I Lee, come here for a second. Oh, <laughs> Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once. So will everyone else. 
I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. Walkers don't worry about as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Please! 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 Ah! 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 